Now, once we have the base geometry built here in Maya, we need to transfer that back over to ZBrush so that we can add any sculpted detail that we want to add to it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the template because we don't need to be concerned with that right now. And I want to kind of disregard anything that is the same on either side. So in this case, we have two sashes that are going to be identical. So I'm going to go ahead, get rid of one of those sashes. We can do the same thing with the hook, the belt. I'll kind of treat as one. And then also the hinge. I'm going to go ahead and take the hinge. And actually, I don't really think there's going to be much sculpting going on in the hinge. So I'm going to ignore that as well. And so I want to look at the pieces that we're going to sculpt on. So the hip piece, we definitely want to sculpt. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the history. Go ahead and delete that history. I'm going to go ahead and freeze the transformations. Let's name this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and export it. Okay. And I'm going to export each one of these pieces separately. So we'll go export selection and you can export it into your scenes folder or your data folder. I'll call this hip export and we'll just export it as an OBJ. Okay, now we have the belt. I'll do the same thing here where I'll delete the history. Let's freeze the transformations. I'll call this belt. And let's export this. Export selection, same folder. Call it belt export. Okay, we'll do the sash here. Let's do the same thing. And I will just call this sash and actually you can see anytime you see it's inside of this group, but you know that it's only one object. It's because we've done some extraction or, or we've done something to the model. And so what we can do is just hit shift P to drop that out of the group. And then I'm just going to rename this sash. And then this we will actually freeze. So let's export this. And we're not really going to too much, do too much sculpting on the sash, but I am going to bring it in. Now we're not going to actually do too much sculpting on the padding but I'm going to bring it in regardless. And I do want to just expand it a little bit. Let's freeze the transforms, delete the history. I'll call this belt pad. Let's export this belt pad export. So we've got the sash, we've got the hip, we've got the belt and the pad. Let's go ahead and get this piece here. And now looking at this, you see back here where we've got these really long polygons. So what we want to do is we want to create a model that when we subdivide it, it's going to be easily subdividable because that's the point of this is to get uh, a good base for sculpting. It's not to create production geometry that comes later. And so what I'm going to do is come in here and I'm just going to add a few lines in here that don't do anything to help with the silhouette or the shape, much like these support lines, but they will help us when we are subdividing this so that we don't have to subdivide it to a really high level to get the kind of detail that we want. Okay, they're still a little bit longer, but I think that's gonna be okay. We'll be able to subdivide it. Delete our history. Let's call this collar or cowl, something like that. And let's export it. Collar export. And then the same deal with the padding. If we want to export this, uh, we can. We'll call this the color pad. Let's go ahead and export it. All right, we're almost there. Let's do the medallion. And this is remember, this is the one that we changed the the front of it. And we didn't keep the uh, the parameters, the creation parameters. So let's go ahead and delete our history. Freeze transformations. And let's go ahead and export this. Medallion export. Okay. So we're going to, again, keep this file because you've got a lot of geometry in here that we can use later. But uh, so save this out. But now we're going to take the exported geometry that we have and bring that into ZBrush. So let's jump over to ZBrush. So this is basically where we left off. It's not the merged one or the decimated one. It has all of the subtools in here. And so what I want to do is just, is just bring everything in uh, all at once. And so we could do it one by one, but we can also go into Z plugin and let's go into the Subtool master and let's go to multi append. 
So multi-append will allow us to bring in a bunch of different things all at once and append it to our current subtool. And we're going to navigate to our Maya project. And let's go in, I put it in the data folder. I'm going to select all the OBJs. So just drag across and select them all and just say open. All right, so they should come in in the right spot. You can see here we have our belt, the hip piece, we have the collar piece and the medallion. So once you've got everything in here, you can see it appended to the end of our uh, the end of our list here. So now in the next clip, we can start to sculpt the wooden collar. So this is going to be a great place for you to have fun, some fun and experiment. We're going to do some carving on it. And so we'll take a look at that in the next clip.